is the woman who brings Starfire to life in Injustice 2. Everyone, please welcome Kari Walgren and from NetherRealm Studios, Tyler Lansdowne. Hi, Kari. Good, Good to see you, Tyler. Always Josh, a pleasure hello. to see you. Kari, can you join me oh. in the center? There you go. I'd love to sit between you guys, but I don't think I'd get a word in. Fair. You guys Fair. go way back. That's true. Back. We this go is, way back. This we is, just discovered this back backstage. You are <laughs> experiencing a moment of magic here. We all have some sort of tie to Kansas. <laughs> yes. We, and we you do. two have a very strong tie. So, Kari and I actually did a production of Alice in Wonderland together when we were about 14 years old. So... And we and he's backstage and he's like, we go way back. And I'm like, I recognize this guy. I think it's from a video game or something a few years ago. And he's like, no, we go back to childhood. And I'm like, <laughs> and and then it came out. And it's like, oh my god, we go back to yeah. childhood. So it's been a it's yeah. been a long time. It's great. To see, I haven't yeah. seen you in you know a while. So it's it's been, it's been cool. A while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What was the name of the town that you guys were from? I'm from Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Yeah. And I'm from Hoisington. Which is even tinier than Hutchison. Yeah. So. And I lived in Atchison. So a lot of suns when it comes to this city. Any Kansas folk out there? Anybody, anybody else from Kansas out nope. there? They say, oh, look at There we go. There we go. Welcome. Welcome to the West Coast. It's way better, way better out here. <laughs> All right. Chicago's great, too. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's talk about Starfire. Now, uh, Kari and Tyler, welcome to the stage. We are talking about a character that I love for many, many reasons. And this is a character that we've seen many, many times in DC Comics over the years and animated films. But for you, Kari, what is it about Star Starfire that really speaks to you? What do you like about this character? Well, the thing I, I really love about the character is that there is um, there's an innocence about her and a sweetness about her uh, and also this tough, badass leader. So I like the fact that she... Through all the different iterations, there there seems to be you know a, a feminine sweetness about her, while also being very strong and capable. Yeah, and coming to Earth and experiencing what what yeah. Earth life is like, and trying to blend in, but yet still have the Tamarian background and all the history exactly. she has. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Josh knows his lore. I do. I <laughs> I'm do. <impressed>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, have you provided any uh, other characters for the DC universe? I have. Um, I've got the Wonder Woman fever right now with with the movie. So I, I yeah, I absolutely. Has anybody else seen it yet? Woo! So uh, I was so excited. I got to play Wonder Woman one time in one of the Lego movies. It was uh, uh, Justice League versus Bizarro League. So I got to play Wonder Woman and Bizarra. Uh, and I played Supergirl in the Lego Batman Three game. And uh, I played Saturn Girl a couple of different times. We did a, a Legion of Superheroes uh, cartoon series. And then uh, she also came back in one of the Lego animated films. So, yeah, so I've, I've gotten around in the got, DC universe. You got some history. You got some history. history. Well, Tyler, why was it that Starfire was included as one of the nine DLC characters? You know, we talk about it a lot. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot of characters we need for the story. And some don't fit in at the beginning, right? But there's also characters who fans keep asking for and keep asking for. One of them, of course, was Red Hood, who we just released. Starfire is another one that we get a lot of tweets about. And that's, you know, we, we, do, we do listen to the fans as much as we can. And Starfire, like you were talking about, it's a powerful female character that really fits well into the uh, Injustice universe. I've, I've seen her played. Uh, and, uh, can you comment? Can you comment on her play style? I, I is she a zoner? Is she a brawler? Is she... I can't say anything. I will say that okay. it's just her animations are really beautiful and strong and cool. Like, she looks awesome. And the hair flipping everywhere. It's, I mean, it's, it's a really awesome thing to see. Ah, that right. is all I can say right ah, now. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to wait patiently. I will wait patiently. All right. Yep. Well, since you're here, Kari, um, tell me about the process of bringing this character to life. Because we get to see the end result. We see all the animations. We see the fierceness in the voice. But when you record, you typically have a script and a microphone and an empty room and maybe a headset with a director telling you. So, so what's the process for you like to bring that character to life? And what is the emotion that you feel when you finally see the end result? Um, it varies. Like when, when we do voiceover for like anime or we do it for a, a Western cartoon or for a video game, you know, we, we go in and it's a different recording process. Sometimes you get to go in and record with the cast. Sometimes you're in there alone. Uh, sometimes you're syncing up to picture and sometimes you're, you're not. So with, uh, with this, I was recording uh, by myself in the studio 
uh, and just, you know, had the script. There were some great scenes. I can't say anything, but uh, it's very exciting what they've done with the script for this. So, When you get to play a character like this, do you become a fan? Do you become, like, let's say it's the first time or first time you're studying a character, being that character, you go, I really resonate with what this character brings to the table in terms of the drama or interacting with yeah. other people. And so you're like, now I'm a fan. Now I want to go back and read the comics. I want to go back and see how this character came to life in other iterations. Absolutely. I mean, I, I grew up loving comics and there were some that I read growing up. You know, I was a, I was a huge Wonder Woman fan. I read a lot of Birds of Prey, uh, you know, Batgirl. Birds of Prey. Uh, Birds oh. of Prey is <laughs> one of my favorites. The, the Gail Simone run is, is uh, see, you know, you know. Uh, but but then there are other characters where you get cast, and it's almost like an excuse to say, yeah, I'm going to do research and go read the comics, and, and actually you just want to go read the comics. So this is kind of a character that uh, I came to later and sort of have fallen more in love with since I've gotten a chance to play her. So. Well, the beauty of our job is that it is our job to read comics and play video games. So <laughs> don't, hate it. Job. don't hate it. Don't hate it. It's not too bad. It's, not, okay. too bad. it's not too bad. Uh, final question for you, Kari. Any advice for anybody in the crowd that would love to look at this world of voice acting or even this world of creating stories in comic books? Uh, from your perspective, what's some first steps they should do? Absolutely. Um, the first thing is get used to the sound of your voice, which seems like a, a, a weird thing, but have you ever left a message on somebody's answering machine and you hear it back and you're like, whoa, do I really sound like that? Uh, so actually getting used to what you sound like and what you can do with your voice, like how high can you go, how low can you go? Those are kind of the first things to kind of figuring out your instrument. And um, no joke, but with the video game world, martial arts helps. Because uh, I used to take Taekwondo and um, all of the uh, fight noises and uh, things like that, it's... Uh, Doing a little martial arts actually helps you in the studio. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. When you know what it's like to be hit, you can make that sound effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Kari, thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations on bringing Starfire to life. We Thanks. cannot wait to see more of Starfire. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Thanks so much for, for having Kari me, guys. Walgren. Nice to meet you all. Now, next up, we're going to have a cosplay contest. You want to stick around for the contest, Tyler? Uh, sure. If you want to, you can. Sure. All right, Kari. We're going to go and say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on everything. Reunited once again, and it feels so good. Who knew, who knew that all these people from Kansas would be here at E3? All right.